All right, gentlemen. You enjoyed the group discussion? Yes, sir. Okay. The second task that we have today is called group planning exercise. In short, it is called GPE. In this particular task, you will find a model. I will explain the model to you fairly slowly, but once. Having explained the model, I will read out the per story pertaining to that model. Once I have read the story, I will give you a story card each. I will give you a story card each to read the story for yourselves and give you five minutes to read through the story. Once you have read through the story, I will take away your cards. After that, we will give you 10 minutes to write down your individual solutions. Whatever you see in the story, there will be have some problems. Story will have certain problems. You have to identify those problems and find write down your individual solution. After 10 minutes, I will take away your individual solutions. We will give you then 20 minutes to discuss amongst yourself to formulate a plan, group plan, to which most of you have agreed. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Kindly pay attention. Here is a model in front of you. You see a metal road. The road is running between Rama, Rana Sir and Ram Sir. Ram Sir is 15 km from this end and Rana Sir is 10 km from that end. There is another metal road connecting Rohini and Aligarh. Rohini is 20 km from here and Aligarh is 10 km from there. In between you see a railway track going and there is a guard room here. There is also a dhaba at the crossroad and a hospital existing here. Across the road you will find forest area and a village. The scale, scale is 1.5 inches equal to 1 kilometer. That means 1.5 inch here on the sketch is equal to 1 kilometer on ground. Are there any doubts? No, sir. Okay. Yaar, usko problem kya hai, bhai? Kya le kya hai? Narrative. Narrative ho to kya mere bhai ab kya kar rahe hain? Samajh nahi lagti aap logo ka. Hai to narrative. Karun Shuru, you are a group of college students of Ranasar University going to Ramsar to provide voluntary service as an epidemic broke out there. You have to report to DM at Ramasar at 5 by 5.30 p.m. You stopped at a dhaba for tea and snacks. As you all were taking some rest, you witnessed an accident between a lorry and a van on the crossroad. When you went to when you went there to provide help, you got to know that the lorry driver was carrying oxygen cylinders that have to be delivered to the hospital by 4 p.m. The van driver got badly injured and he was carrying the medicines to be delivered at Ramasar for curing epidemic. As you were planning what to do, a man came limping to you and he informed you that he is a railway guard and he got the information that some people removed the fish plate of railway track to derail the upcoming train at 3.45 p.m. with the motive to loot. When he went there to resolve the problem, they had beaten him and locked him in the guard room and broke his phone. He somehow managed to escape from the window and came to the main road to ask for help. You all were still trying to think what to do when an old lady approached you asking for help as a cattle got lost in the forest area 
and it was her only source of living. Time now is 3 p.m. Okay? Yes, All right, gentlemen, your time is up. Kindly pass on the thing to your left. Please write down your solution. Before that, write down your chest number and 10 minutes to. Okay. All right, gentlemen, your time starts. Please write down your solution. Okay, gentlemen, your time is up. Kindly hand over solutions to side. I have got your individual solutions. Yes, sir. Please discuss amongst yourself for 20 minutes and formulate a group plan to which most of you have agreed. Given more priority. First of all, we have to uh, first aid, providing first aid, and then trying to move uh, the uh, injured people to the hospital. And I would also like to add one more point because first we will give first aid because every bus has first aid, so it will be very easy to give them first aid. Yeah. And the injured person and uh, the, the van is going to the same direction that is hospital, so we, uh, one of them can, uh, can take the van or the then they are going to First of all, we'll persuade our bus driver to take along uh, both the injured candidates, that is the van driver and the lorry driver. And next, we'll try to assemble all the uh, people of the dhaba and the passengers to get uh, the cylinders loaded as well. Uh, we can also say that as uh, uh, there, okay. we can also call police station. <coughs> uh, we can also call police station and inform them about the uh, danger that will be happening. Uh, uh, because uh, there was uh, there was a loot in the guard room and uh, he was locked and he called he helped us so we can call police station and they will call the railway and as we are on the main road we can also take help from the uh, bus uh, the car drivers we can also take help from the car drivers and ask them to give uh, yes, lift and uh, we can take them to the First of all, we will uh, take two of uh, two of us uh, with a lift. We will uh, carry out the injured person immediately to the hospital, and with the other val volunteers there, uh, we should uh, do. Uh, we should carry out this oxygen cylinder on the bus, and immediately we should uh, uh, follow the lift to, uh, to reach the hospital. And second thing, we should have to. Uh, we should we along with our friends go to the village and inform the um, inform the condition of the guard, and there we should uh, uh, call the police there. Because it is a voluntary task to make sure that a police has taken uh, mm. the work or not. You do. Uh, next, we will do what uh, that uh, that we have uh, we have called the police, but we will also uh, take a contact number from the guard, who will actually be con uh, we will then uh, directly contact the railway so that there are two preventive measures that are be taken uh, for the derailing of the train. We also seek we also seek uh, villagers for any help, and uh, we can uh, help them as well. <coughs> And uh, we also, uh, we shall also go to the village to help the women to find their cattles and uh, also call the village men to help. So first of all, we'll divide our groups into three major parts. The first part will be working uh, towards uh, the first aid of the people. We'll be taking them from the bus uh, to the hospital. Next, that group will also be asking for a lift to carry all the oxygen cylinders. That is for group one. Now, the, the group two, uh, group two, that will be contacting the police as well as coordinating with the guard, who will actually uh, give us a number that we can contact both the police and uh, the railway personnel uh, for the derailing of the train thing. Next, there is going to be a third uh, group that will actually go to the village and uh, ask uh, the village people for two purposes help. Uh, the first will be that. Uh, they have to uh, help the woman, uh, the, the woman who has lost her cattle. And secondly, uh, the, uh, we need some people who will actually go uh, to the railway track uh, to wave a red flag so that the train can stop wherever it is. Next, uh, after performing all these tasks, we will yeah. meet.